I've been also cutting down on carbohydrates in my diet, but I'm experiencing really bad acid reflux and it's uh, ruining my sleep and also impacts my day-to-day -day life. How do I make my healthy diet changes but not cause other problems such as heartburn and acid reflux? Yeah, okay, that's really good. That's, again, uh, my common question, especially when people are going on diets. And I've seen this in the last three weeks because with the new year, a number of people have moved to different diets for the new year resolution. But sadly, they're all coming off it. So what I've found is, and like you mentioned, low carbohydrate. So you're eating a balanced meal and suddenly you're switching to low carbohydrate, high protein or high fat diet. So suddenly the composition is different. So your, the digestive juices are also different. So you could have the symptoms you're having like indigestion, um, feeling bloated uh, or uh, having reflux and uh, that can even upset your sleep. So my advice to you would be, the first thing is whenever you go on a diet um, or, or going on a healthy eating plan, I would advise you to make the transition slow. Don't abruptly change the very next day. So for example, you want to cut down your carbohydrate, cut it down slowly in a graded fashion over two or three weeks. Don't do it all in one day. So uh, today you're having lots of carbohydrates and tomorrow immediately you're having say 10% of your carbohydrate. That's not good. So your body doesn't adapt. The best thing is to do it gently over two to three weeks. So any change in diet, please do it slowly. The next thing is um, make sure that you have your meals two to three hours before you go to bed and avoid greasy food or fried food, all these stuff, especially at night, because that can trigger reflux and having bad gastroesophageal reflux can upset your sleep. And obviously you know that if you can't sleep well, if your sleep is disturbed, that prevents you from losing weight. So the two things I would advise you, make gradual changes, make sure you have your meals three hours before you go to bed and avoid uh, oily food, uh, especially for dinner.